So we're con continuing our discussion on the date time picker and we're going to show now how we were able to write the JavaScript function that set the low date for this date picker to be equal to the value that the user had typed in to, uh, to the start date field. So let's go here look at end date and we can see that the low date is set to a function called get low date. So if we open up the builder here you can see there's the JavaScript function there um, called uh, get low date and now let's go over to uh, JavaScript functions and look at the get low date um, uh, JavaScript function definition. So you can see that the first thing that it does is it gets a variable called start date and it reads the value that the user typed into the start date field and then if the start date field is not equal to null then we return the start date so now whatever value the user typed into the start date field has now been set as the low date for the end date field otherwise we just leave that value blank so you can see it's really easy to um, dynamically control the start date and the uh, end date um, of the um, the control um, another nice feature in the um, uh, list of uh, properties here that we haven't yet discussed is the um, the uh, disabled days. So for example over here you can see that right now there are no days disabled. Let's just pick this up. But let's say that I want to disable um, uh, Saturdays and Sundays. So I can just go there and enter say uh, 0, 6, 0 being Sunday and uh, 6 being Saturday. And now when I uh, bring up the uh, calendar I'll see that uh, Sundays and Saturdays have been disabled. Uh, the, let me just go and turn the uh, days of the week back on over there and uh, bring it back up again. So there's Sundays and Saturdays have been disabled. Of course the uh, actual um, titles here uh, can be controlled uh, through language strings. Um, so if you're uh, in a non-English speaking country you can go to your date properties and control the uh, month names, the day names, uh, etc. So um, and uh, let's just take a look now at uh, one final um, uh, set of features here which is events so um, there's a full JavaScript event model for the date picker so you can define your own JavaScript events for uh, on click, on right click, on select, on navigate, on month navigate, on year navigate and also on item draw which is a very powerful JavaScript event handler which allows you to actually customize the actual HTML uh, layout uh, of the uh, date picker. So um, uh, in this case um, now let's go take a look at how we made this into a uh, time picker. So if we go, if we go now to the uh, time of birth uh, field you'll see that that's a uh, short time field. Uh, it could also be a character field. You can choose the time picker for short time fields and character fields as well. Um, and uh, we've turned on the time picker and uh, we've chosen our uh, time picker format and so um, that's how we were able to get it, just a time picker only uh, for that field over there. Um, so I think this gives you a really good overview of the really powerful new uh, date and time picker in um, version 11. Thanks very much.